Hey guys, I'm back out here again to work on some short game and I want to tell uh, you folks a little bit about what I discovered over the last number of times I've been doing this. This is like my fifth session coming out here in a pretty short, like a week and a half. Um, and the thing is, when I was trying to do the use the bounce thing on the bottom of my wedge, uh, I wasn't very consistent with it. And then I found after reading a letter from Ben Hogan that he talked about the chipping style that Bobby Jones had showed him, where you keep your right elbow in place and you let the hands roll the face open 90 degrees. And then as it comes down, it should fall right back down where you aimed it to begin with. And when I started to do it this way by keeping my elbow pinned in place, all of a sudden I started to feel and look much more like the guys that I admire. I'm going to try and show you what I've been working on and, and you know, I think it's working for me. So I'm hopefully moving in the right direction. Okay, I'm excited to start my uh, up and down game. I'm ready to do this again. Now the difference is I brought three wedges with me today. I have a 57, a 53, and a 49 degree gap wedge. So those are the wedges I'm going to be using. The other day I just used one wedge for all distances and I, I think that I should take advantage of having different clubs. All right, that was uh, two good opening chips, uh, just little knock-in birdies. This is up a big hill, and I haven't really figured out a technique to really do a runner yet uh, with this technique, but I'm really focused on just the technique. When I play this game, I try and do one easy, one medium length, and one difficult chip uh, at a time. Again, here's one that I have to run up a hill, wasn't able to pull it off. So I have a silly excuse for this. The bikers in the background were yelling some pretty rude stuff to me. <laughs> and uh, I just jacked it way too hard there. The putt was going dead center, but these greens have just been uh, redone. I'm not sure what those little ridges are, but they were completely sanded over. They had just been punched a couple weeks ago. So here's a, my touch on these little chips is a little bit better this time around. You may remember me mentioning that last week that, you know, just to do a little delicate chip, I didn't quite have the feel yet. Again, I'm, I'm still struggling with those any any chips of uh, length. You know, I started off putting pretty well. I pulled that one. Um, struggled here in the middle for a little while. Let's hold that one out. That would be really nice. I'm definitely getting a lot more chips closer to the hole than I had been. It's just the long chips that have been really giving me a lot of trouble. So uh, it seems like I either just gas it or leave it way short. This is one where I had it in some really thick rough and I was trying to, to get the ball out and I just, just went right under it. The next time I do this, I'm gonna bring in eight iron because those longer running chips, that's what the club that I need. 
Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to work on those longer chips and try and figure out some sort of a technique. Now this chip is a little longer, but it has a lot of slope that I can work with. Again, these grains are, are really slow and that's right into the, the cut of the, the grain. Well, that was fun and it's uh it's pretty competitive you know uh, you really care when you make a good chip and you really get upset when you make a bad one uh, but you know my my pars were easier pars this time uh, when i hit a good chip it was a lot closer and i had more control than the last time so i'm gonna stick with it so i hope you guys hit them long and hit them straight so go to MySwingEvolution.com where you're going to find a completely revamped website with a social media platform where you can make your own profile and talk with other people on Team MSC about how you can take your game to the next level. Don't hesitate. Go to MySwingEvolution.com today. And remember, hit them long and hit them straight.